Welcome back to another episode of Player vs. Player. Today we have some special guests from the Board Game Spotlight. Derek and Lizzie Funkhauser. Welcome, guys. What's up, hey, guys? What's going on? Thanks for having us on the show. Yeah, are, you, excited. are you Care Bears ready to throw down? Oh, yeah. I am. I've got my intensive Care Bear on. I'm ready. It's going to be a long ride home either way, I mean, right? One of us is going to be Grumpy Bear. Yeah. Yep. I guarantee. Have you guys placed adequate bets for who's going to win? I think so. We did. We threw down a, uh, a baby Sebastian bet. So uh, this is going to so, be so the loser has to wake up with baby every morning for a week. And we both love sleep. So this is an, this is an intense yeah. wager. You're both going to lose because when he's 18, I'm going to tell him about this. <laughs> well, he'll see the video probably. I know. Yeah, that's true. All right, <laughs> oh, so we're going to get right into this and start with round one. If you guys have seen the show before, in round one, mm -hmm. we're going to ask you a series of questions, seven in fact, where you're going to both answer on whiteboards. Once you reveal your whiteboards, then we're going to go into the next question. We're going to finally get to the eighth question, which is more of a sort of playoff, if you will. It's okay. a turn order challenge that will set up the player order for round two and potentially give one of you a point. So right. do you think you understand round one? I, I do. got it. I mean, I've already seen the show, so I'm, I'm I'm sorry. Then we're we're ready to begin. Do I have to be a subscriber to be here? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Did that. we not check your credentials at the door? Wait, how uh, my phone? Where's my phone? <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? Let's do we it. Are. Question number one. Oh, All right. Boy. Question number one. All right. This is a super easy question, okay. but you guys should answer this one correctly. If not, you both will leave the stage immediately. You've both been given a big part of the board game spotlight for a while now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Do you know how many members the Facebook page has of right now i need the exact number i'm just kidding it has to be within 100. oh okay members on the board game spotlight that is don't be cheating i saw you glance over here kind of what you guys Derek, you wrote over. that fast i think I you did. have a really good idea i do hold on a second. do you track this in an excel spreadsheet uh sometimes and have you checked in the last hour because i did some things oh great no. <laughs> all right all right we'll start with lizzie what you got 12 to 50. 250. Woo! All right. What do you what got? You got? I got 12 2. You oh, guys are both correct. You're it's both correct. But 12 2 5 6. 2 5 6. You were oh, Lizzie's six. Six. within 6. I wish we could get bonus points because you would have got a bonus yes. point. Lizzie, yeah. Lizzie totally could have gotten a bonus point I there. Crushed that one. You guys are both at one point. Congratulations. You will not leave the stage. We will continue yeah. on. I was actually are you ready for like... question number two? Yes. Okay, Absolutely. question number two. This is a TV question, so dun, if you could both dun. check out the television behind you. This dragon god of the endless sky is one of many in the upcoming Mezzo from Colossal Games. What is its name? Yes. You see Derek is wearing a <laughs> Colossal shirt. We don't want this to appear as though this is a sponsored question. No, it I'm is not. actually just, if I get it wrong. <laughs> um, so There's a lot of tricky god names in that. There I are. know. No. There are a lot Good of tricky. In one. fact, some of them are kind of similar. Uh, so I'm going to bring on a countdown here. I'm ready. Five. Ooh, Lizzie's throwing shade. Four, three, two... And we're ready. Let's start with you this time, Derek. What do you got? Suro Dragon. Suro Dragon. That is not even close. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure I have this? Because there are two that are really similar. No! That is. That's, that's pretty close to the spelling. Yep. Right. I, I is think it that the actually Alan is. Cuckoo Con. Mixed. Oh. Cuckoo Con. Yeah, that's... that's it's Cuckoo Con. Cuckoo Con. That's Cuckoo Con. Wow. I'm glad you got that because wow. you, you got played with it. You the spelling right, even. Did she, did she I get did the get spelling? it right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, because I, I had to change wow. the spelling because I wasn't that sure. That is solid. I think yes. a bonus point should be in order for Suro Dragon. <laughs> mm. And bonus negative point, maybe. Well, hold on a second. In the comments, that's where the bonus point's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed that, that's right. Thumbs. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. Question number three. Since you two started a family of your own in 2017 with the addition of Baby Sebastian, mm -hmm. who is upstairs <laughs> right now. Hashtag board game baby. <laughs> we thought it only fitting to ask what the BGG Golden Geek Family Game of the Year was in the year that he was born, 2017. Oh, Golden Geek Family Game of the Year. Yeah. Now, we'll understand if you don't get it, because technically you weren't a family at the time. Yeah, no, that's a good question. Two of you. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, but now you are, so you should get it. <laughs> uh, let's see. How long have you been playing board games? 
Not uh, long enough. Uh, 2014. <laughs> but I mean, apparently not long enough. I know. But who's counting? Uh, I'm counting down in a second. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> five, four, three. If he says throw a dragon, I'm going to kick him out. Two. And one. Okay, oh, we're gonna start with Lizzie again. <laughs> totally on this I totally it. no. I have no. I just wanted to write something Liz. down. I just put animal and animal. Wow, that was much longer. Than I don't animal even know. Animal, but that would be great. incorrect. What do you got, Derek? What is Haba? That is a company. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what it is. Not a game. <laughs> <laughs> they make family games though. That is wow. true. I know. That's why I went with it. What was uh, the answer, Jeremy? The, the answer is Azul. Oh. And that was a that was oh. pretty softball-y. So. Was it was, soft, but I was, I was I, I leaning more of, towards like the I don't actual know, when you brought in Sebastian, family. I was thinking like young. It would yeah. help if you listened to the actual question. No, yes, right. that is true. All right, I'm going to do that. Speaking of questions, are you ready for the fourth one? We are. Yes. All right, the fourth one. Question four is, Blackout Hong Kong is the name of Alexander Pfister's next game, releasing at Essen 2018. Can you name one other game he's designed that starts with the letter B? Apparently, Derek can. Who's Lizzie? the designer? <laughs> <laughs> Alexander Pfister. It starts with a P, not an F, though. But not the game we're talking about. <laughs> we're not spelling his last name. I, I think he's making something up again. No, I think Derek's got it. I think he's drawing a picture. He's trying to. He's trying to work. He's a little points. artistic, yeah. If you get a little too fancy pants, we're gonna deduct points. Just so I'm you know. I'm having fun. Come on. I'm just teasing. Come I'm just on. Teasing. No, guys, fun allowed. Sorry. Are, are we ready? I guess so. Who are we starting with, Lizzie, this time? Yeah. Question mark is close, but not correct. Uh, no. hmm. That's a Derek. Problem. I can't make fun because I. I think I Derek might Dragon. take the lead here. With what is broom service? That is. It's two to two. Yeah. Two to okay. two. What Congratulations. Is Thank you. With a we witch on a broom. Service. With oh, a that's witch right. On a broom. I forgot Lizzie had gotten one on him already. All right. Question number five. You guys erased your boards. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. We are. All right. Many people know that you consider yourselves Care Bears when it comes to gaming. The bear <laughs> in the image, go ahead and take a look behind you, is not a Care Bear, but just a stuffed shill for a household product. What is the name, is his name, and what kind of product does he promote? Totally just taking a, uh, a wild guess here in the shot in the dark here. How old are you, Derek? 27. He's, he's not mm, old enough. I don't, apparently not. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know if it's a current product. I, it's is a it? current product. Is it? Yeah, right? for sure. It's, it's not gotta promoted. be. But it's not promoted like it was when no. we were younger. No. I remember seeing commercials Oh, before, she's, so I'm very she's, she's got it. All I right. Got, can I get half points? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Lizzie, we're going to start with you. What do you got? Well, I went first last time. Yeah, right. she did. All right, then Derek, we'll start with you. Uh, cuddles, laundry detergent. He's so close uh, that on is both. very close, but they, the, the name is wrong. Oh, it is laundry detergent. Snuggles. It's kind of it's Snuggles it's, Fabric she Softener. She nailed it. It's Snuggles Fabric Softener. So you were like so close on both. Three to two. Snuggle the bear. Congratulations. Well, horseshoes and hand grenades. It's the only thing close counts. All right, are you ready for question number six? Yes. Worker placement, as we all know, is a favorite mechanism of many of us here. Mm -hmm. Can you name the classic worker placement game that includes these components pictured behind you? This is so easy. So it is. Uh, I mean, it is for you and me, for sure. Yeah, yeah as you're looking at the answer. Well, yeah, I, I wrote the question, so I kind of know. I hope I know. There's a key element in there that explains... Yeah. Exactly what it is. Yep. I was going to go with just that element, but I thought oh. that would be too rough. You guys ready? Oh, I'm curious to see what you got. Not correct, right? No. That is not yeah. correct. No, she Catan. said Catan. Catan, no. Catan. I've heard it both ways. Derek, what do you got? What is Stone Age? Oh, what is it? You're going Jeopardy style, too. I, I what like is it. Stone Age? Three to three. And the key component there is the cup. That is Ooh. the cup. I know, I knew that was something, but and I And those white I've wooden dice. And that so love shack. Could have pictured that. All right, question number seven. If you've ever taken the time to inspect the board for Time Stories, which is a fantastic game, by the yes, way. Yes, it is. You As might of have, today. You might have noticed how many spaces there are on the timeline itself. How many spaces are there? Can I ask a question? You can ask a you question. You can ask one being time units or the actual timeline of cards. The answer would be time read, units. It's, it, yes, the timeline. The timeline. The timeline, yes. The timeline, yeah. the time the time timeline. yes. Okay, all right. You're thinking of the panorama, I believe. That's what I'm thinking yeah. of, yes. Okay, no. but that's not the question. 
Ready? Mm -hmm. I guess right. I'm first, or? We'll yeah. go with Lizzie. 75 is close, but that's not the answer. Dang it. Well, I got 30. <laughs> that's definitely not close. 30 is roughly the amount they give you for most of the scenarios, but it's actually that's 61. Which right. I don't think they've ever given anyone 60 units of time in that game. No. I, I think what if I you have like the, the ones that add time, maybe. I thought you'd you be a little, little closer because yeah, it goes true. up to 60, but it includes zero as well, so that's where you get 61. Ooh, Just a little tricky. A little, little, little trivia for you. That's nice. for you on a trivia show. Okay, that brings us to the end of question <clears throat> seven, and the score is tied three to three. Oof. This may be the closest game we've had thus far. I think far. it is. Absolutely. So this is a little interesting because we're going to go into the turn order challenge. Who do you think would have scored the most bonus points that time? <clears throat> I have no idea. Because we've got to give someone uh, the I'll, beginning. We'll give it to Lizzie. Okay. It's only fair. That's yeah, fair. So in the turn order challenge, if you've seen this before, mm -hmm. we're going to give you a category. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to go back and forth. You have to name one thing from mm -hmm. the category, then Derek, then you, back and forth until someone can't. And then the other player will win if they've named more than their opponent. It's a wit to our wager. Do you see understand? What I did there? I'm ready. I see what we you understand. did there. Now everyone's seen what you've done there. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yeah, yes. let's do Lizzie, it. Lizzie, we're going to begin with you. The category is, and this is a limited category, to 10 things. So maybe you'll get to the end. Okay. Hmm. The 10 original Care Bears that were introduced back in the 80s, I believe. <laughs> Totally wasn't alive. I want you to go, and you can, not, you can name either of them by name, mm -hmm. or you can just tell me the symbol on their belly. Okay. I'm going to start with Grumpy Bear. Oh. Grumpy Bear is one. What is Cheer Bear? That is correct. Cheer Bear is also correct. Back to you, Lizzie. Is there a Sunshine Bear? Is that your... Answer or a question? <laughs> that is my that is my answer. That's a it's like a print. sun on their belly and it's got yeah. little rays it's, coming out. It's actually fun shine bear. Fun but it is a sun. I give it to her. We'll but we'll give it to you because you, you, yeah. you probably would have said sun. Yeah. So if your question, you go with the icon for sure. I'd yes. say. So yeah. back to you, Derek. Uh, what is friend bear? That's correct. That is correct. I gotta tell this you guys, this I don't know where I, this is you're the past impressive. where I would have gone. <laughs> I don't know if this is like indicative of us one. being goobers and nerds, or if this is like I don't know. This is just pure luck. I believe there's one with a like a cloud and a rainbow coming out of the tummy. Yes. Uh. Unless that's already been taken, is that like friendship bear? No, that's it, it, sunshine. It, 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 we're gonna keep this sunshine going. Bear. It has already been oh. taken. And I'm sure Grumpy Bear had the storm cloud. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to go with heart on this belly. That's right. Tender heart Dang bear. It. Tender heart. That is tender heart bear. Okay. I All cannot right. believe how far you've so gone. So, we're 50 50 now, right? We've done four. No, we I'm five. Ahead, though. No, I know, but I'm trying to think. So, there's only five left. Mm -hmm. uh, which of the five do I remember? Well, obviously not these past five. <laughs> uh, okay, so, fun shine, cheer. Tender heart. Like naming the first five is going to help you remember the last Maybe five. it is. I got five. Uh, I'm going to go with intensive Care Bear. Wait, that's. Is that a serious <laughs> answer? I don't know. <laughs> it's a gift, though. <laughs> what, what would that be on, the t on their chest? On yeah, their I'm, chest. I'm curious. Uh, what would the icon be for like intensive health? Care Bear? Like, like a, a band aid. Like a band like like <laughs> Yeah, like. He, like, he deals out. Well, the, the I'm damage. happy to report that the turn order challenge round is done. Uh, there is no intensive care bear. You want to name the other yeah, one? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I'm just going to give you the, the symbol because that's the easiest thing yeah. to recognize. Mm -hmm. Clover, two hearts. Uh, I didn't remember that one. I, oh, I do. The do moon, the shooting star, and yeah. the cupcake. Oh. How can you forget the cupcake? That's birthday the moon. bear. Yeah. That's birthday bear? Yeah. Bedtime bear is the moon. Yeah. There well, you go. However, that was very impressive. Yes, very impressive. Very well, impressive. I think my si my oldest sister was into care bears, so I remember seeing some scattered around the house. For so. sure. <laughs> that so, was all my knowledge. Lizzie won the turn order challenge. So what that means is mm -hmm. for round two, we're going to have categories that you're going to pick from. Mm -hmm. You can either choose now to pick first, mm -hmm. or you can just take a point. If you, give, if you pick first, he's going to get the point. I get the point. You'll I knew take she the wasn't going to give me a point. All right. Four to three. Four to three. But Derek, you get to choose first in round two. And here's how round two is going to work. As I said, we we're going to have a number of categories, you're going to be able to draft from these categories. There's one question per category. You're going to go through and each get four of these categories, basically, answering one question. And on the fourth question, you will have a chance for sort of a bonus question if you want to wager the points you may have scored in the fourth question. 
because you might lose them if you get the bonus question wrong. Okay. So do we understand? We understand. I understand. All right, We're let's ready. start this around and we'll tell you the categories. First category is awards. Next up we have Essen. Then we have Feld. <laughs> and you guys just played a Feld game with we Carpe did. Diem. We did. This should seem very familiar. Spotlight. Okay. Or maybe not. <laughs> Draw cards. After that we have content creators. Bits and pieces. And finally we have Care Bears, which oh, you are yeah. now very familiar with. Yeah. So Some. Not should all. Be easy. Derek, it's up to you. You pick one of those categories. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Feld. Feld. All right. I will ask the Feld question. Stefan Feld is known for his point salad approach to game design, but his 2016 release from TMG has no points to be scored. What is that game? This is just for you, Derek. Mm. And you can ask for multiple choice if you don't believe you know the correct answer. TMG. Yeah, we did forget to explain that. You can yeah. get multiple choice. You'll only get one point instead of two points. Sure. And if you get it wrong either way, Lizzie has a chance to steal Ooh. either two or one point. That's tough. TMG, no points. I'm going to go multiple choice. All right. A, Merlin. B, Bora Bora. C, Trajan, or Trajan. And D, the Oracle of Delphi. It's Merlin. I'm going to go with Merlin. That would be incorrect. You ah. have a chance to steal. Would you like those no. again? I'm going to go with Bora Bora. That is also incorrect. It's the Oracle of Delphi. It was 2016? Yes. Oh. And it's a race game. And it's TMG. Uh, with no points. OK. Um, there you go. Merlin was Queen Games, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Oh. That's what, that so was like Stefan, the if on. you're watching, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm and so Derek sorry. and Lizzie are very, very sorry. In sign language. Obviously, you guys need to play some more field games. Yes. We do. We that do. is a true it statement. It is very true. Uh, and everybody should do that. That's something you should do. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> So, Lizzie, it's your turn to pick a category. I'm going to go with Spotlight. Spotlight. Okay. For Spotlight, are you ready? I am. Have you, brought, you knew the, the membership, so that was pretty good. Uh, but unfortunately, this has nothing to do with the board game Spotlight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Shocker. Red, blue, and green are often used in games as player colors. But this isn't about board games. What color of light is created if you overlap the light from a red, blue, and green Spotlight? <laughs> I'm so glad you have this question. <laughs> you remember you can, your you can middle school science? Too. You can yeah, multiple you, choice. We do have multiple choice. Don't look for me for help. No, I'm thinking. I know what she really wants those two, of two them points. Would be. She does. So it's give me the multiple choice. Oh, okay. All right, multiple choice: A, purple; B, magenta; C, white; D, black. I'm going to go with purple. Purple is incorrect. Derek. Black. Black is also very incorrect. <laughs> the answer is white. Really? You get white. You get white light. It's different with paints mm -hmm. and things like that, but with light, the presence okay. of all colors is white. Yeah, I went with paints because I saw a lot of blacks as a kid. I'm colorblind, so I just like mix colors together. Black like, is oh, the absence black. of color. There I knew go. it wasn't black. So yeah. it was a, it's still a oh, very boy. tight race because no points have been scored <laughs> in round two. <laughs> All right, it's four to three. Lizzie, it's your turn to pick. No, it's Derek. No, it's Derek. All right. We're going to go with uh, bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. All right. The dice in Coimbra from Eggert Spiel are a great example of how they should be used in gaming. How many dice in total are there included in that game? 13. He didn't even. He didn't. He didn't hesitate. Flinch. I Again, if I were to award bonus points, I would. <laughs> That's two points. But I'm going to be transparent, and I only know that because I attempted to, to teach this to friends, and it went On miserably, Monday. and I put it back in the box and read the rules like yesterday. So, uh, <laughs> well, there you go. There you That's go. True, time, yeah. uh, I could a, have gotten that one too because I was putting the dice away. So I've played, but I've not taught Lizzie yet, and so that is on the to-do list. So well, now it's five I'm sorry, to four. Spiel. Because you read a rule book yesterday. I did. I read a lot of rule books. That goes to show you, read rule books, everybody. It's true. All right, Lizzie, it's your turn to pick the next category. And re if you didn't realize this, the ones that have already been picked are off the table. Uh, I, yeah. uh, I'm going to go with Care Bears. Care Bears. All right. Are you ready for this one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> While not about Care Bears, this 2017 release designed by Phil Walker Harding may be as close as we get. 
<laughs> you're over there nodding. Do you know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go multiple choice Yeah, do your then. multiple choice. Yeah. You'll get it. You're going multiple choice? Yes. Okay. A, Baron Park. B, Bears. C, Bears versus Babies. <laughs> and D, Rescue Polar Bears. The year was 2017? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that takes a couple out. <laughs> bears versus babies. Is incorrect. <laughs> nice. I don't know. That is a game. Yes, I will tell you, all four of these are actual well, games. I you can steal, that. Derek. Baron Park. It is Baron Park. Oh, I thought that was older. It no, is suddenly it six to four. <laughs> 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 it could use an aesthetic highlight, but uh, it's... Lizzie, I'm 17. just telling you, Derek's <clears throat> starting to mm -hmm. break it's away a little idea. bit. I know. I know. So, Derek, it's your turn to pick a category. Let's go with content creators. All right. That would be yourself. What? All right. So, the question for this one is, Rado begins his videos with, hey, everyone. <laughs> but the friendly Canadian from Watch It Played, Rodney Smith, signs off most of his bit videos by saying what? Oh. I actually don't know because I never get to the end. <laughs> No, 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 no. Whoa. I watch it and then like I don't Whoa. ever like go into like him doing a sign off. Now we owe apologies to Stefan no. <laughs> and, and Rodney. Rodney. I love Rodney. I love Rodney. He's Just, the only way I know how tall you are, David. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so his sign off, what he says to everyone? Yes, at uh, the very hmm. end of his most of his videos. That would be a sign off. I'm going to have to go multiple choice. All right. Choice one, A, and that's how it's played. B, see you later. C, thanks for watching. D, Surrey. <laughs> well, three of the <laughs> first ones are very generic. Um, I'm going to go with see you later. <laughs> that is you incorrect. You have a chance to steal. That's thanks for watching. It is. So wow. she gets one point for the steal. Well done. Suddenly close again. Five mm. to six. That nice. is one of your favorite content creators, too. So Thanks. You would true. know that. For watching. That's how he says it. That's how, oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. That almost sounds... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. <laughs> was that... That was his fourth question, That right? was Derek. It's, it's Lizzie's. Yes. But that involved. was his fourth, so he doesn't even get a chance at his bonus question. Sorry, Derek. I'm sorry. I'm going to go with I'm awards. Sorry. Awards? Yeah. All right. Awards. Not only were the two of you married in 2013, I told you I did some Facebook stalking. Well, you got it right. I'm impressed. So. But this Z-Man game was honored by BGG as the Golden Geek Game of the Year that year. What is the game? I'm going to want the multiple choice. <laughs> oh, that was quick. <laughs> A, Star Wars X-Wing. B, Terra Mystica. C, Love Letter. D, Forbidden Desert. <laughs> Do you think Derek? Do you think Derek I know, has he a has chance? no idea. Remember, we yeah, didn't get into know. gaming until 2014. <laughs> we, uh, we, have, we got into gaming in 2014, so this is a full year before. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So That's I don't even think that we got into BGG until a year after that. Okay. So give us your best guess. I will go with Terra Mystica. That was a nice pullout. Wow. That was very good. That is correct. It was Terra Mystica. Wow. <laughs> Each of them had three questions, Love but we have play. two more left. We have oh, it's three. Okay, and good. drawing cards. Yeah. Or draw mm. cards. So you still have a chance at your bonus question. I okay. was wrong. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with... We'll go with awards. Or no, did you say awards? I just did awards. Draw <laughs> cards. Draw, draw cards. cards. All right. Who is the artist responsible for this box art from 2016 Portal Games re-release? And if you'll look to the screen, you're going to see that game there. That would be Vincent Dutre. Oh, he didn't even have Ooh, multiple with, choice. With the pronunciation, yeah. no less. Robinson Crusoe. Wow. Very good. Very good. Very good. So I suppose Very that good. leaves Essen for me. <laughs> it's eight to six. So Are I'm you ready? This perfectly. I believe in you. To die. So here's your question in the category of Essen. Those going to Essen will find an incredible number of new games this year, but can you find Essen? If you started in Berlin, in what direction would you travel most in order to get to Essen? Dang, she's good at geography too, so she might be able to pull this off. And I'm just going to give you a hint. The multiple choice is pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> is it four? <laughs> I'm going to go with east. East incorrect. is incorrect. 
You get a chance to steal south. That is also incorrect. Yeah. It's west. I had no idea. It's it is a, it is a west. west. Yeah. So it's really. eight to six right now. You know what we forgot? What did we forget? It's been a while since we filmed. We forgot to give Derek his chance for his bonus question. Well, let's do it. So we can do that now. Let's do it. Uh -oh. Lizzie, let's I'm do a do sorry it. you won't get a bonus question because you didn't get your correct. But Derek, are you ready for a bonus well, question? Well, I suppose I Now am. what you need to know about this is it's on the Vincent Dutre answer. You oh. got that right and got two points. Okay. You can go for an additional two points. Uh huh. But if you get this wrong, you will also lose those other two points. So it'll you be got six to six. six. Uh, it, would, to six? it would indeed. Or it'd be ten to luck. six. Oh, he's pressing his luck. All right. Let me see if I can extend this lead. If so, not, well, that's all right. Are you ready, Derek? I am. Did oh, it's Yoda. You want to see? Oh, I'll ask it. Yeah. So behind you, you're going to look at the TV, and it's, uh, the question is. Star Wars Rebellion is possibly your single favorite game. It is. Name this card. You must. <laughs> that card would be Seek Yoda. That's impressive. That is impressive. That is impressive. That is impressive. Really. He's played that game a lot. He got it. It's true. I've played a lot. All right. Seek Yoda. Final round. Ten to six. <laughs> Solid round for both of you, really. It's still not out of reach. Mm -hmm. He's only four points ahead, and the way round three mm -hmm. works... Uh, is going to give you a big opportunity to catch up. I've All never right? been in this position before, so I'm kind of like sweating over here. <laughs> I'm typically not winning things, so. Or we don't know the score, and so it's a surprise at the end. This can change quickly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's round three, it's 10 to 6, and here's the way it's going to work. Whoever's in last place is going to answer questions until they catch up, and then it's going to go over to the other person. We're going to have three questions each, mm -hmm. and these are going to go from two points to three points to five points, and I think get progressively more difficult as we ask them. Okay. Here's the rub. They're not questions, really. There's kind of a word association. <laughs> I've given this example many other times. <laughs> so if I were to say palaces of red, you might say castles of burgundy. Mm. That would be the example of sort of a synonym clue. If I knew burgundy was red, I would get that. <laughs> that would true. And I'm glad this now that everyone good. knows that you didn't know that. That's excellent. Um, so, are you ready for this? We're going to be starting with Lizzie. Oh, boy. So, she has a chance to catch up. Lizzie, you're four points behind, so you're going to have to answer two of these before yep. you can push it back over to Derek. Okay. So, All are right. you ready? I am. So, the first category is going to be in the line of synonyms, okay? okay? Just to give you guys a hint. All right. This one is underground branch. These are all game names. I want to just yes. say that for both I, of you yeah, guys. Yeah, I figured They're that. all game names. Underground branch. Root. That's correct. Excellent. Two points. Two points. Nice. I had no I thought it was going to be two words. <laughs> and so I was like, well, I mean, it's like a root, but like. So it's now 10 to 8. And Lizzie, you're going to get your second question. This is for three points. So it's going to push it back to Derek. Are you ready? I am. All right. Your next one. This one is going to fall into the category of translation. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Seize the day. Carpe diem. Very good. <laughs> it is now 10 to 11. You've taken the lead. The audience at home, we kind of lucked out here, or she did, because we just played Carpe well, Diem before. Well, to be fair, filming. I took Latin and Greek in well, high school. Well, that too. Yeah. So yeah. she's also. Smart. But we also did just yeah. play Carpe Diem, which is a fantastic game. Yeah, do you want to do a review of yeah, it? Yeah, quick right review. Now? Go buy it. <laughs> Thumbs up. Okay, so now Lizzie is leading with what? 12 to 11 to 10. 11 to 10. I'd be lying if I were surprised. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well. She got five she points there, the time, so, she, so she, she just surpassed you. All right. Now you have an opportunity to fight back. So we're going to start with a two-pointer from you in the same way that Lizzie answered her first one. This is a synonym. Yep. And this one is for ghost, beachfront, landmass. Oh, you look confused. Ghost, <laughs> beachfront, landmass. Uh-huh. Yes. I think I hear crickets. I do. <laughs> is smoke coming out? I don't know. <laughs> no idea? I have no idea. The answer is Spirit Island. Ah, it's a good one. But we keep going. Now you have a three-pointer. Yeah, now you have a three-pointer. You ready? Sure. OK, again, this one is in the category of translation. Mm -hmm. Again, going to be a game name. And it is simply The Farm. Oh, yeah. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Ah, okay. This isn't my answer, but Lahav would be the port or something like that, because La is the. I have no idea what the farm uh, Agricola. No. 
No. What's oh, agriculture? Yeah. Lagrania. Lagrania. It's Dang okay. it. <laughs> you well have played. to answer this correctly or you will lose the game. It's worth five points. This is a five point question. <laughs> Hail Mary. Jeremy's going to ask it. This is in the category that's more like an antonym, just so you know. Should we explain an antonym? <laughs> Do you know what an antonym is? It's the opposite of a synonym. Sure. Okay. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's not going to get this. <laughs> is, it, is it too hard? It is I a five-point question. It is a five-point question. All right. Okay. Not enough flesh. Not enough flesh. Two many bones. Boom! I was going to say, if you don't get that Bam. one. Bam! TMB, only because my friend has been... I have to I'll, 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 I'll tell you game. guys right now, this is the best match we've had by far. It's going back and hey, forth here in round three. That's a shout out to Chip Theory there. So if you're watching, <laughs> Chip Theory, there you go. Fantastic. How so, wow. It is what, 15 to 11. 11. So if you I can answer way, this and win the game, Lizzie. No pressure, though. Are you ready for your five point question? Yes. It is fictional essays of law. This is an antonym for her? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fictional essays of law. Take your time. Not too much. There's a lot writing on this question. There is a lot there writing. There is a lot. Couldn't I have the too much blood? <laughs> did, you have, did you get that one? <laughs> uh, yeah, immediately. <laughs> Fic fictional. Fictional essays of law. We'll give you 10 more seconds. Mm. Is that a phone a friend? We, we haven't instituted the you phone haven't instituted instituted yet. that yet. We may. I don't know either. Any guess? Time stories. Time stories, no. No, it's the, the answer movie. is Chronicles of, of wow. Crime. Crime is opposite of oh. okay. And the Chronicles mm. is sort of a factual sure. documentation. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But it, that is the game. Derek pulls it out over Lizzie. It is going to be a real long ride home to Illinois. <laughs> and a whole week of baby waking up. Anybody oh. have a couch? Oh. <laughs> we do. So no. the final score was 15 to 11. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Derek and Lizzie, for joining us on Player vs. Player. And thanks, everyone out there, for watching. This was episode four. Hopefully, we'll keep this going. We're going to get some more people on here. And yeah. uh, maybe we'll start recycling some people, too. Yeah, Thank I want you. a rematch. Yeah, this is this was awesome. I, I haven't been part of any board game related media this fun. You guys did <laughs> you guys did really well. That was Absolutely. an exciting match for sure. Thank you. Cool. But thanks again for watching and check us out on all of our social media and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.